Before the video starts, I'd like to end up actually making this little announcement. One year ago, or what feels like a year ago, I ended up actually announcing to you, the viewers, that I'd actually start doing two videos out a week instead of just one. When I first started, I thought it'd actually either be really hard or really easy. I wasn't actually quite sure because I have to actually end up dealing with social life stuff like... Uh, doing homework, doing laundry, getting a job, doing this, doing that, you know all that. But uh, surprisingly, it wasn't actually as hard as I thought it would be. I actually managed to handle it quite well. Which is why I'm actually announcing this now. I've decided to actually try and end up um, sending out free videos out a week. From this point on, I'm going to try and end up sending out free videos a week. And just like before with the last time I ended up announcing this, I'm going to quickly tell you guys that I'm, I will try and end up sending out free videos a week, but I'm, I will remind you but that just like you guys, I do have a social life, meaning that if something like, I don't know, moving house or doing really big work at college or something involving around a job ends up popping up, then I'll end up having to either go back to... I'll most likely have to go back to doing uh, two videos a week. But for now, I'm going to actually end up saying I'm going to be sending out three videos a week. And so far, I've actually been sending out videos, uh, two, vi two videos a week on uh, Fridays and Tuesdays. From now on, it will be Fridays, Tuesdays, and Sundays. So um, I just wanted to make sure you guys knew this. And I think I've ended up getting my message across, so I'm now going to start the video, and I hope you enjoy. Roll video. Greetings mod lovers across the universe, DW here along with no one else because this is mod explaining. In the last episode I ended up explaining a bit about functions. In this episode I'm actually going to be showing off some new technology yet known as floppy disks and disk drives. Now before we actually begin, uh, I'd like to actually mention something that I forgot to mention in the last episode. The guy I've actually been watching in order to find out information around computer craft has actually stopped making videos, which is why I've actually had to go and uh, find someone else who ends up explaining about computer craft, which obviously I have done or else I wouldn't be talking to you at the moment. Uh, there is one last thing I'd like to mention before we begin. If you are new to this series or new to my channel and you want to actually know about the uh, crafting recipes involving around this mod, Make sure to check out episode 4 of Mod Explaining. That's where I actually end up showing off all the crafting recipes involving around computer craft. Where you can end up learning uh, how to craft uh, stuff like, well the stuff like you can see behind me like the turtle, the computer, the uh, floppy disk and the disk drive. But uh, I think I've ended up talking enough about that so without further ado, let's begin. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to start out with some code first, uh, some programs before we actually begin. Now this is a new program I've actually found out, it's called LS. It ends up actually showing uh, all the folders in the computer. I can't actually remember if or if not I've actually shown you this before, because I do remember in the past I have shown you a program that has shown all the folders in the computer and all programs you've ended up, or I've ended up making in the past. But uh, either way, I wanted to show you this. Uh, another thing I'd like to show you is... Hold on, I'll actually get onto that later on. Now, you all remember how to actually get into a folder. If you end up doing CD and then the name of the folder, this folder is actually called ROM, and as you can see, right now we're actually in the folder. So now that we're actually in the folder, I'm actually going to do LS, which actually ends up showing you everything that's in the ROM folder. It actually ends up showing you all of the uh, folders within the ROM folders. These aren't actually programs or anything. There are actually um, different types of folders. There's actually a way you can end up telling which uh, type of folders they are. You see, with these uh, folders, there are actually different types. There are either directories or files. 
So, for instance, I'll end up actually uh, testing this out with the with the first one that caught my eye, programs. So we'll actually end up testing out the programs folder. So, sh so it should either come up with directories or files. And now we actually know programs folder is actually a directory. But uh, as we end up going in, now seeing that these are actually, hold on, grams, uh, programs. Uh, seeing that these are actually folders, once again, you can actually go into them. Okay, so for instance, uh, and obviously there must be stuff in here. Okay, now if it isn't obvious, these aren't actually folders. These are actually the programs you would end up finding in the computer, which you, which you always use. Like for instance, there's where is there? There's edit. There's there's clear. You all remember these. There's ed, which you've already used. There's uh, lua. There's reboot. All these are uh, programs which we've ended up using in the past. Uh, now, an interesting program I now I can see here is our list. Now, I'm actually going to end up showing what list does. List actually ends up doing what you would expect it to do. It actually lists all the um, all the programs or anything in a folder which you'd find. Kind of like what ls has done. So basically, ls and uh, list are exactly the same. Now, uh, there's a reason why these end up doing the exact same thing. It's because, a uh, tiny bit of a lie here, um, list is a program, but ls isn't actually a program. It's actually a alias. It's actually an alias. It ends up doing the exact same thing what list does, except it's much, much shorter. Also, if you have really good eyes, you might have just noticed a little program right here, which is called alias, which I have just mentioned. That's because you've actually caught me out. I'm actually going to end up using... This is one of the programs I'd actually like to show you. This is... i like to end up showing what Alias actually does. For example, I'm actually going to end up putting this. Now, Alias... I'm actually going to quickly explain what this does. Now, as you can see here, Alias... I've ended up typing Alias D list. Basically what Alias does, it ends up um, taking any letter you'd like, or word. I've just ended up putting D because... DW and I'm don't want to make this too long and now if I end up typing down once I'm done with this if I end up typing down D it will actually end up listing just like everything else so if I ended up uh, doing uh, something like E and then and then put edit it ends up actually and end up actually just becoming um, instead of just typing down E you just put E and then the name of the program you like and then it does edit that but uh, just to show you now if I end up typing D, it should end up listing all these programs. <gasps> Ta-da! As you can see here. Now, um, we're having a bit of fun here. Now, uh, I'm actually going to go back to this program, CD. Now, at this point, I've ended up showing you this in the past. CD basically ends up um, letting you into other programs. It ends up, not other programs, sorry. It ends up letting you into um, folders. Any folder, you end up typing the name of a folder and it lets you in there. Also, if you um, haven't watched any of my other videos, if you do uh, cd dot dot, it actually ends up taking you out of a folder. So if I end up doing cd dot dot, instead of just being in the ROM and in the uh, programs folder, I'd just be in the ROMs folder. But I've actually found out something a bit cool. If you end up doing cd slash... It actually ends up taking you to the very start. We're actually out of the ROMs folder. We're actually out of the programs folder. It literally takes you to the beginning directory. I hope I said that right. Now, um, we're actually having a bit of fun here. But um, so far, ladies and gentlemen, I haven't actually gone on to the main task at hand. I haven't actually shown you anything about the floppy disk. And I've not shown you anything about the disk drive. Well, I'm actually going to start getting on to that. Now, you're probably asking, how the hell are you going to get onto that? Uh, with the slightest of hand. Okay, there, you can tell I'm uh, printing. There we go. For a minute, I forgot how to spell printing. I'm actually going to make a new program called printing. So if we end up doing this, I'm just going to end up putting in the most simplest of code. I'm going to end up putting in... What's the word? That was wrong. I'm going to end up putting uh, something in simple. Hi, DW... Okay. Okay. 
Whoops. Okay. Alright. Okay. Now, um, for those that are new to my channel, and actually, for those that are not new to this series, you should know that print basically does, does what you'd expect it to do. It basically ends up printing out uh, the very words that you end up saying. So if I end up typing down printing, it comes up with hi DW. Oh, hi computer. Hey, buddy. Which it has done beautifully. Now, you're probably wondering why I've done that. Well, it's because... Hold on. Because, you know what I've always found a problem with computers? Is that they're so fragile. Because if you end up actually breaking it, if you end up actually breaking this computer which with this lovely um, program that we've just made, you'll end up losing that program forever. See what I mean? If we end up now doing um, LS, only, only ROM. That uh, printing program is gone forever. But... With the magic of uh, floppy disks and, wait, hold on, uh, disk drives, and now if we end up doing LS, there's now a uh, new folder called a disk, which I wonder where that came from. Big surprise. It's the floppy disk. Anyway, uh, moving on. Uh, and just like the ROM folder, we can actually end up going into it. So if I end up putting CD disk... We are now in the disk um, folder, or actually in the disk in general. It's not really a folder, it's the, di the floppy disk itself. So now, uh, I'd like to actually end up showing you guys something. If we end up doing edit, uh, print, printing, again, and actually end up doing the exact same thing as last time, so basically this is the exact same thing, deja vu. Uh, not very interesting, you can take a coffee break if you wish. Just take a quick nap, it's not going to take me that long. Actually, Maybe it will take me that. Oh, it's not going to take me that long as usual. A miracle. Anyway, and as you can see here, we've done it exactly the same way. Printing. And ends up saying hi DW again, which is quite beautiful. But now, if I actually end up just end up uh, doing, uh, end up destroying the computer and placing it back down again, if we do LS and then end up, the disk is still here. That's because I didn't break this. And uh, CD, and then I'm doing CD disk, and then we end up doing LS again. Would you look at that? We still have printing. We still have printing. And now if we end up actually typing printing, ta-da! Would you look at that? A miracle. And we still actually have that program. So... So it's actually quite good that we ended up actually putting that on the uh, floppy disk. So we actually ended up moving that uh, program to the floppy disk, which is quite good. So basically, if you ever actually want to keep your programs really safe, I'd end up actually putting them on the uh, floppy disk. Also, another good reason to have a uh, floppy disk around... Boop! And now, if we actually end up doing CD uh, disk, we're in the disk, LS, and now we are in, pr and now, as you can see, printing is right here. So we've managed to successfully move a, um, a, a working program from a computer to Sorry, I forgot he was a turtle. I thought he was a jumping uh, castle there for a second. Sorry. Um, to a turtle. Now, uh, moving on. Now, uh, that's actually something cool I'd like to show you. Now, I'm actually going to end up uh, making a new program within um, within the disk. Uh, I'm going to call it build... Uh, I'm going to call it... What should I call it? Uh, building... So now I'm going to actually end up... This is actually just to show something off to you viewers. Um, so if I end up doing printing... Hold on. Do, 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 do. Where am I? Um, oh yeah. I'm going to quickly print something off. And, and what it's going to say is... Going forward and back. Going forward and back. And... Then I'm actually going to end up using um, some turtle code, which, um, for those that um, are used to my videos, you should know what I'm about to type. 
That's it. I'm actually doing quite well. I'm not as slow as I usually am. Someone give me some brownie points. Anyway, and now I'm going to quickly show something off. Okay, for those that are not new to my channel, you should know that... You should know what a turtle, the turtle code I just put in was. It was a forward command and a uh, back command in a way. So basically this turtle is going to move forward, then it's going to move back. But before it does that, it's also going to end up saying um, going forward and back, for instance. As you can see quickly there, it ended up moving forward and back. But here's something, here's something I actually want to show you. Now, you're probably thinking, but DW, what was the point in showing that? Because I didn't want to really show off this code, I wanted to show off this. Now, some of you may end up remembering this. There's a cool little thing I ended up showing you that ends up, um, actually stop, ends up, um, making it so code that can't work. Meaning that at the moment, uh, with these two, um, minuses I'm going to call them, but right now, this uh, bit of code can't work. So right at the moment, all the turtle can really do is just move forward and back. It's not really going to say going forward and back. But after a while, but may I just say, after a while, it kind of gets boring of just constantly having to go to each program and doing do 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 do. I mean, each code and do 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 do. It eventually gets really boring, which is why I'm glad to find. I'm glad to say I found out a faster way of doing that. So if I end up typing down this uh, boop and then put in this whoops now now all of the uh, code should not run so now if we end up uh, typing down this nothing happened it didn't move forward it didn't move back and it didn't print anything out that's because we ended up actually using comments these are basic this and this are basically comments where you can end up actually, um, hold on. You can basically end up doing, um, something like, hi, this, uh, as a comment to end up saying to someone if they're looking at your code. But, um, I'm not really into comments, so. But basically, this is kind of a cool little way of stopping, stopping, uh, progress. Imagine if you end up having you end up writing this long bit of code, but later on you don't want to use that. Instead, you want to end up typing down down something down here, but you don't want to end up getting rid of all of this. Instead of constantly end up having to do, eh, 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 you could just quickly uh, end up doing what I've done here, doing a uh, comment as clear as day. Now, uh, I'm going to quickly get rid of this. Hold on. Because I'm actually going to need to show you something else with this code. I don't need the uh, print thing, though. Hold on. Yeah, that's what I meant to do, I think. Yeah, there we go. There is one thing I'd like to put here. Okay. There's a new bit of code I've actually found out. Okay, let me put in sleep, go to bed. Da, 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 da. <clears throat> anyway, okay. Now, um, as um earlier on, you ended up noticing that the turtle actually went extremely fast when I actually told it to do something. It, it literally, when I actually told it to go forward and back, it literally went boop boop. It went really fast. It was really hard to see that, to be honest. I barely actually caught it doing it. But uh, with this program, it actually makes the turtle sleep for as how long as you want. At the moment, I've ended up putting in four. That means the turtle will actually be sleeping for four seconds. So if you actually want to end up uh, watching the turtle do something, if you're kind of if you're kind of a geek like that and you kind of want to um, watch it do something amazing, like make a bridge or something like that, instead of it just immediately just jumping into the woodworks, you can end up actually setting the time. At the moment, it's at four seconds. So if you end up putting any numbers in here, it'll actually be set to seconds. So just to show this off. Mm. Right? And as you can see, it didn't actually straight... It didn't do that straight away. It, it literally waited um, four seconds. I think I didn't actually have a timer. Later on, I'm going to need to do that. Um, it did... It ended up um, waiting four seconds and then moved forward. Now, mostly I feel like I've ended up just showing you lots of code, but I haven't actually shown a big use for, well, the uh, floppy disk and the disk drive. 
until now. Now, uh, get in there. Sorry, I got uh, mixed up in the mix. Okay, I'm going to quickly type out all of this. Uh, you might want to take a coffee break or something because this is actually going to take a while. Uh, Total dot select. Oh yeah, I'm going to quickly end up putting in this. Okay. And, uh, select... Uh... Okay. Uh, just in case you're new to this series, this has, this program basically ends up setting, uh... What part of its inventory it's at. It, right now it's already set to 1, but just in case it wasn't, I'm gonna set it to 1 again. We're also gonna end up typing down turtle dot... Place... Uh... Down... Boop boop. Turtle dot. Uh, where am I here? Forward. Also, I'd like to mention if I end up somehow screwing all of this up, may I remind you this is actually a lot of code to type. So uh, don't be surprised if on the way I end up uh, accidentally typing the wrong thing. Do not blame me. Blame the fact that there's so much to type. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, forward. Uh, um. Place. Down. Right, and now, then it's going to need to turn. Why did I not put turtle? There's no much point in there if you don't put turtle there. Turn uh right. If you're also new to this series, that's not how it's by right. If you're not new to this series, those need to be uh, capital R, oh, that needs to be capital D. There's a joke somewhere, I'm not gonna make it. Uh where am I here then? Turtle dot forward. Then believe it's turtle dot I think it's turn again, am I right? I am correct. Right. Boop boop. Boop the snoop. I'm turning into goddamn Vanga now. Lace uh, down. And then uh turtle dot forward and boop. Okay. I'd like to just mention this now. Um, to be honest, I actually I actually uh, don't have the best memory. So if you're thinking right now, how the hell is he actually remembering all of this? <laughs> Ignore that. Uh, I've right now got a sheet of paper right in front of me, to, uh, reminding me what to actually type down. Cause God knows if you can actually remember all of this code off the back of your head. Then you have some weird ass abilities, mate. <laughs> You've got the most amazing mind in the world. Uh, place down. Boop, boop. Okay. All right. Now, before I actually begin, this code is actually quite useful. I think for the fact is is that um, it's actually Minecraft related. Unlike um, now, that I think about it, most of my codes are basically um. Either turtle or computer related. This is actually Minecraft related. Um, basically, what this turtle is actually going to do, it's actually going to end up making a. Um, end up placing six um, blocks down. So basically, it's going to fly up, place a block down, go forward, place a block down, go forward, place a block down, turn, place a block down here, place a block down here, place a block down here. So basically, if you wanted to end up. Um, I like to think that this is actually, in a way, um, good for making um, a floor for a house, actually. I mean, imagine for a second that you're too lazy like me to actually build a floor for your house. And you can... We'll be right back. Okay, viewers, we're back. Luckily, although I may be an idiot... <laughs> I am so lucky. 
Although I am a lucky idiot for the fact is that... Remember when I said that even if you end up breaking the, the computer, it'll end up uh, keeping everything? Seeing that I kept everything on the floppy disk, it kept all the information. I don't need to type all that out. Thank God. But like I was saying, imagine if you wanted to end up building a house. Uh, hold on. My God, DW. Imagine if you ended up wanting to build a house and you wanted to end and want want to build the house, but you're too lazy for it. You can end up actually getting this guy to do it. So if I end up now doing this, okay. And as you can clearly see, it managed to end up uh, making a lovely little floor of cobblestone, which is well, basically six. Now you're probably thinking, but DW, that is not enough for, um, that is not enough for a goddamn, uh, goddamn house. Uh, th there's not enough blocks here to make it a goddamn entire house. What are you trying to make, a dog shed or something? A doggy house even? Uh, I, I understand, I understand. But, once again, hold on. May I just remind you people that, where am I here? That's the wrong way. Okay, uh, with the, oh my god, with the floppy disk and the turtle, if I could end up just, if I end up just moving these along from here to there, and now if I end up just going in to see the disk, okay, and end up just, um, alas, it's still got the two programs I've made, and now if I end up doing, um, like it says there, Build... Building. I forgot to put coal in. <laughs> the accidents have been happening today, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah, if you... Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this earlier on. Um, make sure whenever you use a turtle, always end up putting coal in or any kind of fuel substance in order to make this work, or else the turtle will not move forward. It'll only end up just turning. I guess. So if I end up doing a refuel, and now, now we're going back. Now we're goddamn going back, and also putting in the goddamn thing here. And now, uh, where am I here? CD disc. We should have. This should have already been done, but guess what? I'm kind of an, kind of a nutter. Okay, and as you can see here, it's right now placing all of this down. And now, um, I know this isn't the size of a goddamn house, but it was bigger than before. So basically, you can end up just moving the turtle along, moving the turtle along, and moving the turtle along. Or you could end up just um, improving the code and basically just end up making making it bigger. Or better yet, you know what I mean. Basically, end up typing more into the goddamn code to make it end up actually do end up um, putting down cobblestone the size of a house. Obviously, I'm not going to do that because, um, well. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. You always get interrupted by the rain. I goddamn hate the rain. Um, because... Where am I here? Uh, building... I think it's because it's no no longer near it. It needs to be near it in order to understand. God damn it! There's so many accidents happening here. Um, where am I here? CD disk. Edit. As you can see, this is how long the goddamn code was just to goddamn put down six blocks. So you can understand why I'm not going to do that. But um, that's actually all the code that the guy ended up put the new person I'm actually watching ended up showing me. Now at this point I usually end up saying, I've actually ended up making my own little code, so I'm actually going to show you that. Uh, for once, I've actually not made my own little code. I figured that the information I've shown you today would be enough. And I've actually checked the recording, is actually long enough, yeah. So, um, I hope you all enjoyed, maybe subscribe, make sure to leave a like, if you want to support this channel, make sense to your friends, your cats, or your goldfish. And I guess I'll see you next time. Bye!